what is up guys this is Shido back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest stable Indian version of MIUI 13 and this is based on Android 12. Of course this hasn't rolled out officially yet I guess but yes this is a Mi Pilot release as you're noticing over here. This is already based on Android 12 but let me tell you if you want to flash this ROM I have flashed this ROM with the TWRP recovery and with the help of that I just formatted data because I was on a custom ROM based on Android 12. So I just formatted the data, then rebooted recovery once. Then I just flashed the zip file of this. This is the recovery flashable version. And after that, I just rebooted to system. And right now, after booting to this MIUI, let me tell you, my TWR recovery is gone. I have me recovery right now. You can see the change logs from right here. It has February 2022 security patch. Then we have increased system security and stuff. And we have the apps can be opened as floating window directly and we have enhanced accessibility for phone clock and weather app then it has some optimizations mentioned over here but let me show you the home screen this is how it looks like yes it does look beautiful and it is pretty similar than like to how it was but let me show you to the left of the home screen i have this google's discover page currently and i was on the dark theme but i changed it so that's why i think it looks like this but yeah it will show white once i reboot the device i guess lock widget i have over here that's because it simply does not have double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen let me show you in the more settings this is the launcher settings and we have the home screen layout you can have the app drawer or you can just use the classic one but of course i have been using it with the app drawer i have disabled the suggestions then we can also change the background over here you can add the opacity light dark etc you can change then we have the original layout or the scrolling kind of layout you can change we have the minus one screen or the left side of the home screen you can set it to app fault or discover and we have the system navigation so you can use the full screen gestures from right here or you can go with the buttons then we have the height full like screen indicator shows these kind of animations and stuff then we have the normal settings like fill sales of uninstalled apps and the lock home screen layout and icon size of course you can change from right here but it's taking some time to actually like bring the icons over here and we have the home screen layout up to five by six global icon animation options are there and we have the arrange items in recents and you can choose the recent panel how it, it will look right now it looks like this let me go back we have the show memory status and the blur app preview and stuff and again you can disable the suggestions but then again we don't have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen and that's just weird but yeah that's how it is now we have this lock icon and i have added this widget but with that as you can see the always on display appears for 10 seconds still and the fingerprint scanner speed let me actually show you how fast it works and here if you're noticing it is blazing fast and no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner let me show you from the lock screen this is how it looks like and once i tap the fingerprint scanner it just unlocks and just look at the animation how smooth and fast it looks now the android 12 clock widget is still here but once you're going home and stuff this is how it appears as you can see and the other widgets are working fine we also have the sidebar i'll talk about that later on now if you swipe down from the right side you get the quick setting panel just like this and this looks like this and you can edit and add more toggles if you want to but we also have the dolby atmos over here if you want to enable that also let me show you we have the google home smart controls also you can swipe to the like left side to get the notification panel and this is how the notification panel looks like let me actually enable the dark theme so that i can show you in the dark theme too and on the notification panel this is how it looks like so yeah the whole ui definitely looks beautiful over here and even the transitions and animations are looking good we have the reading mode and stuff they are working fine i have tried the mobile data wi-fi toggle everything is fine and it does pop out just like this once you click on one toggle and as you are noticing i have connected to this bluetooth device and yeah the sound quality via the bluetooth and the headset was working great no issues even the brightness slider is good enough we also have the auto brightness working great right now also there is a performance toggle if you want to enable that screen recorder and stuff the battery saver everything is there no issues with those right now let me show you this is how the settings panel looks like if you go into the about section this is how the mui version appears and this is the MIUI version 13.0.1 and that's stable right now and you can check for updates from right here but again the good thing is this is based on android 12 if you keep tapping on it as you can see you get the clock and if you make it like this and you also get the haptic feedbacks and stuff once you are doing those and yeah this is how it looks like the android 12 easter egg of course this is based on android 12 and we have the MIUI version mentioned over here again and the security patch you can see this is the february security patch i guess and we have the specs and stuff 
Now talking about the settings panel, you can search inside the settings and I am not going to be able to show you all the things because MIUI has tons and tons of features. So it will take a huge amount of time, but yeah, I'll show you the basic things like the always on display. This is how it appears. And we have these choosing options in the always on display settings. This is going dark even when I'm on the white theme in MIUI 13, this should have been improved, but yeah. This is how it was previously, but even now this section appears to be dark even on the white theme. The always on display kind of clocks are there and they are pretty beautiful as it was always. I don't see many new clocks or something, but yeah, this is how it was. And the display time is still for 10 seconds only for Redmi Note 10 Pro for some reason. Let me go back. We have the notification effect and you can change the animations from right here. You can have the pulse blue, red and the starlight option. Let me go back and we have the sleep timer and stuff. Then we have double tap to wake the screen. The lock screen clock format you can change from right here. Let me go back. We have the display charging animation. I'll show you that later on. And the launch camera with the volume down button is there. In the display settings, we have the light and dark theme and you can schedule the dark theme if you want to. Then the brightness level, the reading mode and the color scheme you can of course change. I have changed it a little bit cooler. Let me go back. We have the refresh rate. Of course, it is running on 120 Hertz. No issues whatsoever. And in the font settings, we can change the fonts of course then we have the control center and status bar kind of settings we have the notification icons and the connection speed and we have the show carrier when the device is locked and in the battery icon we have these kind of battery percentage you can enable inside or outside the icon and we also have the hide notch option then we have the notch for individual apps inside sound and vibration this is how it looks like we have the sound assistant option and if you go here we have the allow in speaker sound and stuff let me scroll down more. We have the do not disturb the schedule option. Then we have haptic feedback and you can actually customize the haptic feedback level. I have been using it with very low and the haptic feedback is amazing over here and you can definitely customize it. We also have all these sounds over here. Let me go back. We have the sound effects and from here you can change it to Dolby Atmos and there is the dynamic video, music, voice, etc. presets. Even we have this kind of graphic equalizer and you can customize this equalizer just like however you want to. And definitely you can choose from these presets right here as you're noticing all of these presets you can see right here how the equalizer is in that preset then we have the headphones options and surely you can customize the me sound enhancer over here when you have plugged in a headset let me go to the wallpaper section and here in terms of the default wallpapers we have only these kind of wallpapers and of course they were there previously too i guess i don't think there is new miui 13 wallpapers but yeah these are the wallpapers that you get of course, I have already showed you the fingerprint scanner speed. Right now, let me set up the face unlock. So right now, I'll just lock the device and let's try with the face unlock. I'm not touching the fingerprint scanner and just notice how fast it unlocks. I'm just double tapping over here and it just unlocks. So if I point the device towards somewhere else and just point it towards my face, as you can see, it unlocks. So yeah, amazing experience over here with the face unlock. And again, if I show you one of the fastest face unlock that I have ever seen pretty much. One more thing that I would have liked to see over here that the Android 12 clock of the lock screen, if that was present, it would have looked a lot better. But we still have the MIUI kind of clock in the lock screen. It is Android 12. They should give the Android 12 kind of lock screen bigger clock, but maybe they will add it in the future MIUI updates. How it was and this volume panel looks like this. It has this gradient glassy kind of finish. And once you press on the like expanding volume panel, it looks like this. You know, it looks closer to which OS. You definitely will get an idea from the screen. And inside apps, we have the system app settings and the manage apps and the home screen shortcut. And we have the dual apps too. If you want to enable dual apps for some apps, you can. And we also have the app lock. Let me show you from right here. You can use the face data or you can like leave it like with the fingerprint scanner only. And if you go into the settings of it, we have the app lock kind of settings. And let me show you. This is how the app lock kind of UI looks like. And once you see this, you just tap the fingerprint scanner and it just unlocks and goes directly into the app. Inside additional settings, we have the gesture shortcut and you can enable these shortcuts from right here. And I have enabled some, it does work. And we have this double tap on the fingerprint scanner to actually do some things. Like if I double tap on the fingerprint scanner right now, as you can see, it takes a screenshot and you can definitely customize that to all these options. That's just amazing. But I'll just put it to none. Let me go back. We have the quick ball too. So you can enable the quick ball if you want to just like this, I guess, 
so as you can see this is the quick ball and you can go home directly from right here we have the one-handed mode and you can enable that if you just swipe over here i guess and as you can see the 100 mode of android 12 is working also we have some accessibility settings and you can customize these if you want to now the next amazing thing is the special features if you go into it we have the sidebar feature and from here you can actually customize it however you want to you can add your games if i show you this it loads for some time let's assume i just add a app like this google home over here in the game mode and right now if i open the google home app and if i swipe on the sidebar as you can see i can take a screenshot and all the gaming kind of things appear so that's just amazing and of course you can use some other apps if you want to from right here if you want to open chrome you can definitely do that with the side kind of bar and yeah this is working perfectly fine here and you can put the apps to the floating kind of screen right here and you can just work on whatever app you are working on once you tap on it and as you can see it is scrolling perfectly fine okay so you just do this and the app is gone from the screen also you can change the sidebar position to the left or right and you can also add the video apps let's assume if i select youtube and right now if i am going to youtube and right now it shows dolby atmos is on once i'm in youtube i can just bring the sidebar just like this and we have the record screenshot cast dolby atmos and the other styles option now talking about the experience overall on this particular rom it was amazing experience and even the camera i have used intensely and the camera quality over here is just amazing i haven't had any issues even with the portrait selfie and stuff everything is working of course great and let me tell you i have even shot a full 4k 60 fps video on my youtube channel i have shot the entire k20 pro's custom rom video on this redmi note 10 pro and yeah that worked super fine the camera quality was just amazing i haven't had any issues even 64 megapixel and stuff everything is working perfectly great no issues with the camera app over here the camera app has been improved quite a lot now it's time i should talk about the battery here in the battery settings this is how it looks like we have this performance kind of bar you can set it to performance or save battery but i have been using it with the balanced mode and that works super fine but yes i have used the aku battery up to actually test the battery if you scroll down more i have got about 8 hours and 25 minutes of screen on time and if you are noticing the screen off that is about 80 hours so the screen on time over here you will get above 8 hours so that's amazing and yes the fast charging and stuff everything is working great you shouldn't worry about fast charging on the latest miui 13 and again the battery life is decent over here but yes i have got better battery life in some custom roms of course now if you ask me personally what do i think about the latest miui 13 on the redmi note 10 pro i am a custom rom user or stock android lover with a little bit of customizations i love stock android but in this miui 13 update i can definitely say this is better than how it was previously and the overall experience of miui has improved quite a lot it's amazingly colorful the animations are great once you are opening some particular apps and stuff the like going to the home screen or going back and stuff everything is pretty smooth as you are noticing if i'm opening play store and let me open some other apps too so if you are noticing the animations overall are looking great over here so yeah i will definitely still be on custom roms in most days but this miui for a normal miui user is a very good option and if you want to look at the performance benchmarks here are the android and geekbench score of this rom with a cpu stress test so that you can get an idea how will be the performance the gaming performance and stuff should be good enough over here of course talking about the normal things and even with me remote i have tested the ir bluster is working great no issues whatsoever also the safety net over here shows that it is failed but it's not actually failed i have like logged in to my google pay and stuff they are working great no issues you shouldn't worry about the safety net over here and you can still change the fingerprint scanner method to touch or press then we have the app lock over here of course in inside fingerprints payments we have the wide find l1 certification right here so that was my impression about the miui 13 latest build on the redmi note 10 pro let me know in the comments what do you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if you feel like this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now